and welcome to the Entropy Piano Tuner. My name is Sai Henriksen and I'm going to give you a brief introduction how to operate this application. So we're going to tune an average upright here and the first thing to do is to record all the keys from left to right. If you want to do it seriously you should use a laptop computer with an external microphone. But for getting started, it makes perfect sense to use a simple tablet computer with an inbuilt microphone. So let's start the EPT application. And the first thing to check is that the input level meter here reacts normally to the microphone. So let's open a new file. And as you can see, you can provide some information about the instrument, its location, and so on and so forth. And up here, you have to specify the frequency at which you want to tune your piano. So here we go. We switch to the recording mode and then we simply press the leftmost key. The echo sound produced by the computer indicates that the recording was OK. Then we go to the next key. And so on and so forth. The whole procedure takes about 20 minutes. Arriving at the keys with several strings, it's recommended to mute them except for one so that only one of them oscillates. Whenever you play a key, you see a red line here appearing above the keyboard on your screen. This is the spectrum. It's got a lot of peaks here and these peaks are the so-called partials, which are typical for a piano string. So by now we have almost completed the recording. And that's it. Now all the tick marks above the keys are green. And this means that we have successfully completed the recording. A very nice feature about the Entropy Piano Tuner is the possibility to connect such a MIDI keyboard and to play on it. So what you hear is exactly what you have been recording before. And therefore, if the original piano was out of tune, what you hear is out of tune as well. In the second step, we compute the correct tuning curve. So we go to the calculation mode. We press info and get a list of the algorithms. We select the entropy minimizer. And we start the calculation by pressing this button here. So here we go. You see how the piano is actually being tuned. This may take some while, especially on mobile devices, but eventually we will end up with a tuning curve. Having completed the calculation, we can again take our MIDI keyboard and play on the tuned instrument. So this allows us to find out whether we are happy with the result of the computation. Finally, in the third step, we have to tune the piano. So we go to the tuning mode, and you can see here the pitch indicator window. We select a particular key, and then let's tune this string. Okay. 
So as you can see, the pitch is a little bit too high, about 10 cents, and I'm going to lower it. Perfect. That's it. So, that's all for now. I hope I could give you a, a kind of idea what this application is about and you can find much more information in our operation manual that you can download from our website at entropytuner.org. Thank you for watching and have fun with the Entropy Piano Tuner.